Hey there Tech Packers, today I'm going to show you five super simple travel tips on how to check for bed bugs in your hotel mattress. There's been a lot of talk about bed bugs in Paris hotels lately, especially in the run up to the Olympics there next year. They're also creeping out the rest of France, a lot of Europe and the worry is spreading because they're all over, including the USA. There have even been stories here in New Zealand about them being found in hotel rooms in cruise ships and giving people a terrible time for weeks after their night staying in it. If you're planning on sleeping in a hotel room anytime in the future for any trip, these travel tips are gonna teach you how to check for those bed bugs and stop you from bringing them home with you. I've been bitten by them before and the bites can itch for months. And you have to go through all your clothes and bags with a fine tooth comb to make sure you're rid of them. So pack smart and learn from my experience and research with these five tips. Now I get it, bed bugs can be a buzzkill for a good night's sleep. When I was researching this, my skin crawled and I couldn't sleep either. But fear not, I've picked these five easy tips that will help you rest easy. First up, let's talk about luggage. Whether you're in the heart of Paris or off the beaten track, always use luggage racks or in a pinch, your hotel bathtub. If you only have one luggage rack and you need two or more, ask the hotel staff for another. And here's a great travel hack. Pack a kitchen trash bag for those rackless remote spots. And the reason why you're doing this is because of tip number one. The most important tip out of all the tips and research anywhere is never put your suitcase on the bed to unpack because that's where most of the bed bugs are. Trust me, it's the golden rule. The research suggests that you store your suitcase zipped completely too. I'll tell you more about why later. Now, have you ever wondered what bed bugs look like? Picture this, about the size and shape of an apple seed, brownish red when uh, full of blood, and no need for a magnifying glass. Your eyes will do just fine and they don't jump. So don't lose sleep over that. Tip number two, when you get to your hotel room, check out the mattress. Check under the sheets, especially near the headboard, and see where the piping and the fabric meet. They hide or live close to their victims, so that's why you're starting at the top of the bed or the top of the mattress. A common sign that indicates bed bugs is seeing bed bug droppings on or around your mattress. Now, since bed bugs feed on blood, they excrete a byproduct of their blood meal, which looks like tiny dark ink like splotches that can be found in the seams of your mattress. So you're looking out for those too. Now it shouldn't take you more than, I don't know, five minutes to complete that first task. Here are a couple more tips that I think will help you chill out after inspecting your mattress. Now there is speedy as ants, which isn't that fast and can't jump. So there's no need to fret. The thing is they're active at night. So I'd suggest keeping the hotel room lights off while you're inspecting. Switch on the flashlight on your phone and get close to the corner of that mattress. If there are bed bugs, they'll start scurrying around like vampires trying to avoid the light and you'll notice them for sure. Another thing to know is that they can move around in the hotel room. They don't just live in or around the mattress. So they can be on chairs and carpet too. Sorry, bad news. You're going to check around there if you have any suspicion that there are bed bugs. If you see a lot of their shedding or their skin or something like their excrement, that's how you know to check other parts of the room. And that's why you don't want to bring your suitcase onto the carpet yet and why you want to keep it zipped up. You don't want to bring any home, you really don't. Bed bugs can't fly or travel far on their own, but since they like to hide in cracks and other dark spots near the bed, they can easily hitch a ride in your luggage. And don't bother spraying, it won't do anything to stop or kill them. Tip three, and here's where some tech can come in useful. Bust out your phone's magnifying glass to get a closer look if you need to. If you suspect bed bugs, notify the hotel staff immediately. They'll call in the exterminators and you'll continue enjoying your trip stress-free and they'll move you, hopefully. The fourth tip is to look over your bags when you get home. If for any reason you think you've got bed bugs and you had to bring your suitcase home, just store it in the garage or on the cement floor or on a tiled entryway or bathroom. Take that suitcase 
and put it in a trash bag and seal it until you're ready to inspect it. When you're ready, and preferably outside, make sure you give your luggage and contents a good look, especially the clothes, starting with the neckline. Look thoroughly inside the case, maybe using the darkness with a torch trick. Pull the seams apart and check that bag thoroughly. Tip number five is if you've got any concerns about your clothing, place it in a sealed plastic bag and put it in a freezer for 48 hours or hot wash and dry all your clothes, even those that haven't been worn. Keep the clothes that need to go to the dry cleaner in a sealed plastic bag until they can be taken there. And put that suitcase back in a large trash bag and seal it to make sure nothing gets out while you're not using it, just in case. Bed bugs are a total nuisance and can live for six months. So that's why you wanna take just a few minutes of your day and check the hotel room mattress when you're traveling and inspect your luggage when you arrive home before bringing that luggage into your house. You don't want those unwanted hitchhikers setting themselves up in your home. This is a less creepy video about staying connected with data when you're traveling. Travel light and easy tech packers and stay bed bug free.